Hey everyone, welcome back. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. I've been meaning to do this evening bag um, video for a while now and I finally have a few minutes to do it. Well, first let me tell you, most of my designer bags today are going to be coach or most of my evening bags are going to be coach. I do have a few Louis Vuitton, which we'll get into, but I'm starting with the coach. Um, a lot of a lot of them are coach, but most of my evening bags are actually from Macy's, Aldo's, just random, you know, $30, $40 bags that would match a gown or match, you know, shoes. You know how it is when you have, when you need an evening bag and it just has to match the shoes. Um, usually they were too small. Um, they, you know, were only good for that dress or those shoes. Um, they, I was never excited to wear them. I just would grab them because I needed them. I needed to wear that bag that day. You know what I mean? So I really wanted to buy something that I was excited about that was really cute, something that I would keep um, and that I could use over and over. Now this one is satin with these little um, Swarovski crystals, I think they're called, Swarovski crystals. Um, it's satin with suede trim and, um, you know, suede handle and then like leather on the front there. Um, cute little feet. I love this not just because it's got the crystals and the little bow in the back, you know, um, but also because, well, I love the pink lining. It needs to be washed because I've used it so many times, but it's got this pink lining. Um, it's huge. I mean, you can actually expand it and I usually don't snap these. Um, I can fit all my makeup, my cards, my money, my, um, you know, uh, my glasses if I need them, gum, uh, hand cream, like I can fit everything that I need in here. So even though it's a little petite evening bag um, and it and it's dainty and it looks right when you're wearing a gown or a dress, but it actually fits everything that I'm going to need. So it's really, it was a wonderful find and I loved it so much I got two because I use it so often and I, I kind of want to have it forever. Um, and part, part of what made me think like that was that my grandmother, who God bless her, is turning 91 this year. Both my grandmothers are turning 91 this year, but my mom's mom, she, uh, you're going to see that a lot of these are the same in different, different colors because I just love this bag. But my grandmother always uses the same little black bag when we go to a party, right? So I said to her, you know, someday you're going to leave me that bag and that bag is going to remind me of you every time I wear it because ever since I was a kid, I remember using this, her using the same bag. And it's not even a luxury or designer bag. It's just a cute little evening bag that she always wears. And I said, you know what? I want something like that. I want something that's my go-to, you know, evening bag. And that's why I got the black one. But then I was like, ooh, it comes in other colors. And I got all excited. Um, and you will see that I got a lot of them. <laughs> we will get to Louis Vuitton in a minute, but... These are my little, I think this one's called the Madison. Um, and you know, these are all satin with the suede and I know the pink suede is gonna be really tough to take care of. They're all like pink inside. They're just adorable, I don't know. I just fell in love with it and so I started collecting them. Now, here's the thing about Coach. Now right now, I'm completely obsessed with Louis Vuitton but I have some key pieces from Coach that will also be in my Forever collection. I've been trying to sell off a lot of my coaches to collect my Louis Vuittons. However, I hate to say this, but the truth is the resale value on, on um, Coach bags is really low right now. Like really, really low. I just sold a $1,200 bag that I got from Coach. It was all leather, it was Python print, gorgeous bag. New condition, a $1,200 bag, I got 400 for it. I tried selling it for eight, and for six, and for five, and for months and months and months couldn't sell it. And then I sold it for four. And that was like pulling teeth. So unfortunately, as much as I love some of my coach bags and I'll be keeping them in my forever collection, selling them when you don't want them anymore is really difficult, you're gonna get reamed. You're going to get, excuse my language, you're going to get screwed. Um, so if you buy a coach bag, take my advice, research it, really watch videos on it, 
um, look at lots of pictures, make sure that you're in love with it and that it's something you want to keep because unless you're passing it down to your kids, you're going to be stuck with it. It's going to be very difficult to sell. I have collected these because the resale value is so low that I was able to get these in all different colors and prints. I have two in the black. I have two in the next one I'm about to show you um, because of that. So it's the truth. Here is my latest edition. I love this little thing. It's in the Ocelot print. It's got the little brown bow in the back. It's so cute. Um, it's got like brass colored um, metal. It's got the Swarovski crystals as well. This is suede. This is leather. See, the other ones are mostly suede and then just this is leather. But now this one is mostly leather here and this is the only suede piece. Um, it's got the hot pink inside, as you will see, and underneath the handle. So cute. I love that. Um, take that out. Really, really cute. And I loved it so much I bought two. Um, and again, the low resale value, it's been easy for me to get them. They're all pre-loved, but in like new condition, and I got them for a steal. So really, really, really cute. So I got... I'm waiting for my second one to arrive. I'll probably take this hang tag off because it's not the Swarovski crystal. And for some reason, this bag, I looked at a bunch of them. This is the tag it comes with. So I'm just not going to wear it with the tag. I don't care about the tag. It's just so cute. So that's that. Now, I also have one that is BCBG that I got at a consignment shop. Um, this one is the leopard. Oh, and by the way, both of the, these, excuse me, um, are calf hair. So it's like that it's hair, you know what I mean? Um, instead of, you know, the other ones are satin. So, um, it's really soft and I know this sounds weird, but I like to pet it. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's just really soft. Um, and I like to think they just gave a horse a haircut and that's, how they made these bags um so this is really big inside it also fits everything and i i just love the freedom of having a cute little clutch bag or a cute little evening bag um and being able to carry whatever i want i mean I, I just hate the restrictiveness of evening bags when you can't carry anything it's so annoying what is the point i mean yeah it looks cute but if i have to put stuff in my coat pocket or put stuff in my glove box or have my husband carry something what is the point right crazy. So I got this Eva clutch. I don't have a lot of Louis Vuitton evening bags. Um, most of my Louis Vuittons are like the delightful and, um, uh, what do you call it? Never full and the no way and the speedy stuff like that. That's more casual, but I wanted to have something that was dressy. So I got this Eva clutch. I got it pre-loved, um, from Japan. And there's a video about this as well. If you want like more details, um, it's red inside. And it carries a lot of stuff as well. You know, my iPhone 8 Plus fits in, in here very comfortably. All my makeup, cards, and stuff like that. Um, it's kind of weird because it's not very thick. It's very long. So, like, you could fit, like, things standing up. Like, your, if you have a small, um, what do you call it? Well, like, chapstick and, like, um, hand sanitizer or a small, like, hand cream or whatever. You can have them standing up. Because my stuff usually would just stop from here to here, you know, the cards and the money and the this, that, and the other thing. And then, you know, everything else kind of stands up. It's a little awkward to pack, but I really do love it. And um, as you guys know, I use like a, um, uh, like a little Ziploc bag inside so that everything will stay together or else it will float all over the place. And then I went to Etsy and I got this really great little chain to make it a... Um, a crossbody. I don't know why the words are not coming to me right now. I have those days. Um, and it matches, you know, it's not a Louis Vuitton accessory, but it matches. So it looks really cute, you know, and it's as thin as this is. And, uh, this was not my idea. I got this idea from another YouTuber. Um, but yeah, really like that together. So I use that. But the thing is, most of the time I'm using like 
you know, black and gray or whatever when I go out at night. I'm not using a lot of brown or things that go with brown, so I don't use this one as much as I'd like to. Um, so sometimes I wear it on a casual day just because I really want to wear it, you know? So there's that one. And then... Now these are not for, like, really dressy, okay? occasions. This is the Pochette Voyage from the men's collection in the split monogram. Um, I really enjoy this as a clutch. I bought this little strap here from like Amazon, I think. And I put what you call a, um, I think you call it a jump ring or an O-ring, but on here. So I wouldn't mess with the you know, the zipper pull, which is super cute. So this is good for, you know, date night or girls night out or whatever. Um, and I like it because it gives you that added security. Okay. When you're carrying it. Right. And also if you go to the ladies room, you can hang it on the hook. The last thing you want to do is put your purse on the floor. Ew. And, um, this really helps out. So I really enjoy this, um, as a, as a going out bag. Um, even though it's not an evening bag, you know, and then this one is the Eclipse Cosmetic case, I think the Eclipse pochette or whatever and this is from the men's collection too, I believe um, So I really enjoy this and I do the same thing with hanging a um, little wrist strap there and they're really, both of them are really big inside. There's lots of space. They've got this, you know, flat bottom. And um, this one actually has the black sides and this one has the Eclipse monogram. So these are really, really cute. And I love this when I'm going out um, and I want, you know, to wear Louis Vuitton, but I don't want to wear brown. I want to wear gray or black or whatever, and uh, I really like to match my handbags to my clothing. I know a lot of people will just grab their Louis Vuitton bag and not care if it matches because they look at it as almost like a piece of luggage, but I really like to, um, ooh, I just put that in the wrong dust bag. Sacrilege, sacrilege, not paying attention. But anyway, so um, yeah, I just like my stuff to to match, so. Um, that's why I wanted to get a few pieces that were black and gray. So I'm really happy with that. Um, anyway, so there you go. There is my little evening bag collection in the designer section. Um, if you want to see one of just my regular, you know, evening bags that are, you know, uh, from Aldo or Macy's or whatever, you just want to see what kind of other, um, evening bags I have, let me know. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to do one of just designer bags. Thanks for watching. I hope I see you soon. Please subscribe and hit that like button. See you soon.